I'd like to say a little something about the genesis of my symphony for brass band. Now it takes a bit of explaining why it took me 45 years to finish my symphony. Suffice it to say that I got sidetracked by successive careers as a trumpet player and conservatoire administrator and it was only when my father died in 2018 that suddenly I awoke from my compositional slumber and decided to concentrate my mind on disciplining my time management in order to complete the symphony within that I'd been working on and tinkering with over the past five decades. So I wrote it for my dad and for the British brass band movement to which he had dedicated so much of his life. The piece is autobiographical too. The ideas behind the music are based on places in Fife where I and many of my brass playing pals grew up. And many of the ideas in the music are inspired by the early test pieces I played sitting close to my dad and John Miller and my uncles in Tullis Russell Mills Band, conducted by Drake Rimmer, Drake's own Quo Vadis, Austin Rayner's Wuthering Heights, Gilbert Vinter's Variations on a Ninth, and so on. Music such as this entered my consciousness very early on. After undergraduate music at university, I went to the Royal Academy of Music in 1970 on a care travelling scholarship to study composition with Alan Bush. I did trumpet second study with Sidney Ellison. I went on to York University to study composition with David Blake, who'd been a student of Hans Eisler. David conducted an orchestral piece I wrote for him called Tune at a university orchestra concert and on the strength of its successful reception by the audience and the Yorkshire Post critic, he encouraged me to write a symphony which I started in 1974. By the end of the summer I had all four movements sketched out. When the LSO offered me the post of assistant principal trumpet to Howard Snell in 1974, my days as a composer were numbered and I joined the trumpet section next to Howard, Willie Lang and George Reynolds. I abandoned my symphony. Periodically, however, I would get the symphony out and make some progress. About ten years ago, Foden's played through an early version of the first movement. And when I retired from the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland, I began to flesh out the scoring of the second, third and fourth movements, and the piece migrated totally from its orchestral beginnings to an extended brass band milieu. The completed second movement saw the light of day at the Prince of Gold Festival in St Andrews in 2016, with Bede Williams conducting the cooperation band with Marco Blau, soloist, and Alistair MacDonald live electronics. The completed first movement was the next to be played by Whitburn Band conducted by Bede Williams with students from the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland playing natural trumpets in 2019. Today's performance at the RNCM which has been cancelled was to see the first performances of the third and fourth movements and of the symphony in its entirety. But now we're going to listen to the second movement, Tense Muir. <laughs> 